Somebody tell me to go. Welcome everybody, time for another feature premiere. I'm Ramon, happy to have all our fans, from our longtime PlayStation fans to our new Xbox fans, welcome. Today we hit the halfway point of feature premieres. We started with pitching and hitting with Kyle Saul. Last week we talked about complete fielding overhaul with Chris Gill. Today we are talking about everything road to the show and ball player. What is ball player? Well, you're gonna find out, but more on that in a minute. But we still got franchise. March to October, Next Gen, and Diamond Dynasty to finish off. You can watch every feature premiere on Thursdays at 3 p.m. Pacific on Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook Live. But before we get into things, we have a special guest, creative director Nick Livingston is joining us. Nick, how you doing? Doing good, Ramon. That's awesome. So, Road to the Show is changing quite a bit this year. It's ball player. Ball players Road to the Show. Road to the Show is ball player. And these changes that we're making, they're, they're future facing, right? There's a lot of changes going on for some big plans we have for Road to the Show for this year and in the future, right? Yeah. This is just the beginning. We really wanted to unify the character building of that player. That you've got this ball player. You're really trying to get him through the minors into the majors and Road to the Show. But we also had that Diamond Dynasty player that was gonna be able to be. Slow it into your squad it could be progressed in that way on online so we wanted to unify that in a way that still honors those individual experiences and what you can do in, in those experiences but that one ball player anywhere you go you're gonna be able to take him around his progression and it's just gonna fit and it's gonna feel good wherever you're playing it well that sounds awesome but I'm gonna let you go before you give away too much information here so thanks for stopping by Nick cool man thank you now let's talk ball player, but we're not talking to one person from the team. We're talking to three. Ben, Tony, and John will be joining us today. Ben, tell everyone a little bit about yourself. Uh, thanks, Ramon. I'm a former minor league broadcaster. I worked with the Hickory Crawdads, the Hudson Valley Renegades, the Clearwater Threshers, the New Hampshire Fisher Cats, and the Salem Red Sox. Had to do that all in one breath. <laughs> I draw on that minor league experience in adding realism to the game across several modes as a broadcast design specialist with SDS. And this year, I've also been the main writer for our new ballplayer narrative feature. The Crawdads. I'm just, I, I'm just gonna sit on that for a minute. <laughs> I'm just going to sit on that. R just remind me to tell you and the fans sometime about my first mascot experience as Conrad the Crawdad. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, John Livingston, how you doing? Welcome hey, back. Hey, uh, yeah, happy to be back, Ramon. Talk about <laughs> some exciting stuff. Absolutely. We can't wait to talk to you and everybody else. How you been working, John? I've uh, been good, yeah. I'm back on the Road to the Show team. I started in 2017, was on Road to the Show for a couple of years. Then I went and worked on March to October for a couple of years, and now I'm back for the last year or so with the ball player Road to the Show team. Exciting to bring some really, really cool and innovative stuff to the game this year. All right, so we're going to talk to you in just a minute. But last but certainly not least, our new member, the freshman class, got these five-star athletes joining our freshman class. Tony, how you doing? Tell everybody a little bit about yourself. Hey, Ramon. Thank you, man. Excited to be here. Uh, I am senior systems designer, new here at SDS. I've been here for about uh, nine months now and taking a look at a lot of the game systems, progression, itemization, and most importantly for today's topics, been taking a look at the ball players. So excited to dive in with that. So what are we talking about today? Revamp, Road to the Show, narrative analysis with Ben, new player analysis with big names, lots of surprises there. We're going to talk about Road to the Show, two-way player with John, flexibility of player builds, balance of hitting and pitching, because right, everybody wants to be a two-way player, right? At least in my dreams, that's what I want to do. And last but not least, we're going to talk about ball player. Your ball player can do it all with Tony Moore, and that sounds like a show that we should make. What modes can you take your ball player into? So let's start off with the Road to the Show narrative. Ben, it was great to hear from you. We know the fans love you from the development tournament last year, so we had to get you on. But you have some awesome news about the Road to the Show narrative, right? Because nobody knows about the Road to the Show narrative, so we're breaking news. 
Yeah, we heard the feedback from the community about how it didn't feel like anybody noticed what you did in your road to the show. You could hit 100 homers in a season or pitch a bunch of perfect games. It might have felt underwhelming. So we spent a lot of effort improving that with the ball player narrative. The most important thing to know about this feature is that there's a hugely increased emphasis on your impact in the baseball world. You're going to have people talking about your progress, your successes, your struggles too. It's going to cover a whole lot. And because everybody wants to play their own way the episodes that you see will adjust dynamically based around your performance and your experience oh that sounds amazing so how is this set up in inside the game well i'm really proud to work on this feature for a lot of reasons but also because i'm in it myself john approached me earlier this year and he said so i have this idea of a podcast that follows the player from their draft day through their experience in the minors. I said, that sounds really cool. He said, yeah, and I'd like you to write it. Oh, oh, okay, that's interesting. And I'd also like you to star in it on camera. And that, that just stopped me cold and I, I jumped into it and it's just been really amazing working with John on this and seeing it go from something small all the way to what it is now. I'm playing a fictional version of myself as a podcaster, as I said, gets interested in your player, follows you up the ladder from your very first moments as a pro and we're bringing a lot of guests on to give you helpful advice tell some stories from their own careers in some cases and talk about how your ball player is progressing and no one has seen this yet in past mlb the show games this is brand new we are using full motion video for these episodes on next gen systems which is the first time we've ever tied full motion video to your experience within road to the show if you're on ps4 or xbox one you'll hear the audio audio from these episodes. You'll still get them, but only next-gen systems are going to get the video. Well, how about we show them a video and give them a little yeah, taste? Yeah, this is really exciting. So this is an episode that will come up while you're still in double A, and it goes into what we're going to be talking about later with addition of two-way player to Road to the Show and the game in general. Three-time MLB All-Star, the mayor himself, Sean Casey, is going to be talking about you and whether or not he believes that you can make it as a two-way player. Check it out. This is the story that I am all about lately. The organization drafted him higher than he was projected to go, and they seem to believe that he could be a two-way player for them. But not everybody agrees. I've got the mayor, Sean Casey, with me. Sean, you're not sold on this idea. Am I right about that? Yeah, I'm not sold on it because I, I think baseball is such a tough sport. And, you know, when you first get drafted, maybe you come out of the high school or you come out of college, right? I mean, it's easy to be a two-way player. But when you, get into, when you get into professional baseball, it's so specialized. The pitchers are at another level. The hitters are at another level. And the work that goes into that one side of the game, there's so much that goes into it. So for a player to come into pro ball and try and be a two-way player – that's going to be a really tough thing to do. And not many people have, been, have had a ton of success at that. And the refinement's only one aspect of it. There's also the physical stamina that goes into playing a professional season coming from college or high school where you've got a few days off between games. It's very grueling in the pro ranks. Well, it's gr the grueling part about, the, about professional baseball. In the minors, you're playing 144 games. In the big leagues, you're playing 162. The mental part of that, having to play night in and night out, is so taxing and so demanding. So to, to, to do that mental side of it two ways, I mean, for me, going back as a hitter, it would almost be have been impossible for me to do that. Looking good, looking good. So how extensive is this feature, Ben? Well, we made a lot of different episodes to cover a lot of possibilities. When we started planning, I was only expecting we'd produce about 50 to 75 episodes. And in the end, we made 180 episodes that could come up over the course of your Road to the Show career. You won't see all of those within one Road to the Show. It is dynamic based on your choices. It takes you from being a newly drafted young player to being a breakout star at the major league level. And I want to give major props for all of those episodes to our incredible production team who worked with our talent to record all these episodes remotely under the challenging conditions we all face this year. So big shout outs to Scott Sorensen, Ron Alano, Charles Eck, and Clint Evangelista. 
just unbelievable team that we got to work with. Yes, our PDSG team, they are amazing. Just so amazing. All of the work that they do every single year to help us get content out. So these videos, they're dynamic, right? And they come up based on your choices and performance. So are you the only one to host this or will we be seeing other talent? You'll be seeing other talent. The episodes are dynamic. Like you said, which episodes you see depend on your choices, your play, your actions, and the format is going to evolve as you make your way up the ladder. You won't see me as much once you're on the cusp of the majors and certainly once you make the majors don't worry we've still got you covered robert flores and mlb network are going to be talking about you once you're up at that level the story will continue oh that sounds that sounds actually amazing is it called the road to the show podcast or is that just what it's called when you're in the minors that's right. It's just while you're in the minors. Once you get to MLB network level, it's going to be MLB network talking about you. And I'm very excited that we were able to get Robert. Everybody knows he's a huge fan of the game and he was involved with our tournament last year, our players tournament. And it's just awesome to have him be such a big part of your story as a road to the show player. This is amazing. This sounds like a great addition to the road to the show narrative and we're giving our fans what they want. Do we have another video to watch, Ben? We do. So you made reference to Cliff Floyd. You're going to be seeing him here. He's a former All-Star and World Series champion. This episode is going to take place while you're in AAA. And like we said earlier, there are episodes that come up dynamically. This one you'll only see if you're a hitter or a two-way player. If you're just a pitcher, you won't see this episode in your road to the show. Cliff talks about the difficulty of hitting when you're just one level from the major leagues. And he gives you a little bit of useful advice too. Talking with Cliff Floyd and Cliff, when you're in AAA, those pitchers are making fewer mistakes and they've got a better read on you. You have to be on your toes as a hitter. No, you do. And you know what? They come to get you. They, they, they know you're the big prospect. And uh, if they can get you out, guess what? You know, they get the call, right? So uh, that, sure. was, that was my job. Uh, was just understanding what they were trying to do to me. I was struggling. Um, but when you, when you deal with adversity there, it helps you a tiny bit at the next level. Uh, I felt like, you know, in AAA, I was rushing stuff. Uh, I wasn't allowing the game come to me. Uh, but once I started seeing a few of the pitchers, you know, the second time through, it allowed me to make those adjustments. The, the biggest thing for me was making adjustments on the fly. I learned at an early age. It helped me uh, just mentally slow everything down uh, and, and, and make those adjustments, knowing what a guy was trying to do with me, knowing, knowing what situations, uh, you know, was, was on the horizon. First and third, defense back, ground ball to second base. I know I can. I'm the guy is supposed to hit the right. home runs and all this stuff, but if the defense is giving me a, a ground out to second, take it. Those are things that help you at the big league level. All right, so we just saw Cliff Floyd. We already saw Sean Casey, Jim Callis, Ben's in there, and our friend Roflo. But we aren't telling you about everybody. You just have to play the game. We don't want to spoil it. There's a lot more to come. So I think we're going to let you go, Ben, because we know you got more episodes to record. So, Ben, thank you for joining us. Thank you so much, Ramon. Road to the show, two-way player. All right, that was some amazing stuff we heard about the narrative element to Road to the show. But what about being a two-way player? It's a big focus this year. Otani's taking the league by storm. Every kid wants to play both ways, right? You want to pitch and you want to hit. So let's bring in John Livingston. John, welcome. And can you tell us a little bit about this change about allowing your Road to the show player to be a two-way player this year? Yeah, we're really excited about it. You know, it's a real thing that's happening in baseball right now. The MLB community and a lot of minor league experiments that are going on with it. And so we're excited to put it in the game. We know from our research department studying our uh, community's way they play the game. A lot of our community does play road to the show as a position player, and then they'll start a new player and they'll play as a pitcher. So why not just let them do it all with one player? So really excited to bring this feature to the game. That's awesome. So how does it work? Uh, am I always pitch like can i just continue to pitch games and i'll dh a few games or like how exactly does it shape out this year yeah so the way it works with the new narrative feature your player as a prospect gets introduced as a multi-talented prospect who can do a lot of things and the team is you know interested in taking a look at you as a two-way player but you do not have to do that if you're only interested in playing the game traditionally as a pitcher, starting pitcher, closing pitcher, or position player, you can do that. The team takes a quick look at you and then you say, you know, I'd really rather do it this way. You do what you want. If you're interested in being a two-way player, there are actually a number of different designations for different balances of play to get exactly the balance you're looking for. 
oh, so I'm not forced into any one role, but that option is there. If you want to be the next Shohei Otani, you can do that. Exactly. You're going to pitch a game and you're going to play a couple games in the field. And right away, the manager is going to come and say, OK, you know, what would you what do you think of this? Let's say you want to play like Otani. I want to be in the starting rotation. And then in between my starts, I want to play as a position player and as a DH. You can do it that way. You're going to have a balance of play that's fairly even. Let's say you want to play mostly as a position player. You like to do a little pitching, but just a little bit. You tell the manager that. And now you can have a pitching start just every once in a while. Maybe every couple weeks you'd start a game. Or if you want to pitch even a little bit less than that, I just want to do a little bit of pitching. You'd be a relief pitcher just every once in a while. In a while you'd make a short relief appearance so most of your play you're, you're going to get the opportunity to experience the two-way play and also the uh, narrative that's pretty exciting that goes along with the being a two-way player because in our narrative feature the community's reacting to that if you try it for a while and you don't like it your agent or the manager is actually going to check back after several weeks and then check back a few weeks later so you know what i tried it i don't think it's really for me i want to do it this way now so there's definitely some choices in there you can make and make sure you land in playing the road to the show the way you want to. All right. This sounds amazing. Thank you so much, John. You got it, Ramon. All right. We talked about road to the show. Your guy is now a two-way player. You can pitch and hit. We've talked about the new fan favorite that you have been asking for for a while. A narrative element to the road to the show is now here in MLB The Show 21. Now let's talk about ball player. You've heard about it. We've already talked about the narrative aspects of road to the show. We've already told you you can be an Otani if you want to, but let's talk about all the different places and ways that you can use your ball player in MLB The Show 21. So Tony, how you doing? Hey Ramon, I'm doing really, really well, man. How are you? I am lovely. So Tony, tell us everything we need to know about ball player and why you're excited about this feature i am super excited about ball player and i think the real i guess the, the inspiring part for me is the overall vision so for a long time you've had your road to the show player then you go in, in dd and you create a player but for the ball player it really is one of the first times we're taking big strides to bridge the gap be able to take your road to the show progression and all of the progress that you're making and then bring it over into diamond dynasty and then back and forth right anything that you're doing and playing in diamond dynasty or you're using your ball player moments then you can bring that back into road of the show it's always about that open door progression it's very transparent if you will i, I think the as we push forward into the future and we find additional ways for you to use your ball player this really is kind of laying that foundation to what can be the future of mlb the show these first steps and the change that we've got with the ball player being able to progress being able to equip loadouts which we'll talk you know I'm sure we'll talk about here in just a minute all in all just the whole feature and everything it encompasses is very very exciting this sounds amazing so one of the bigger features in ball player is this concept of loadouts we hinted at it in the coach and tati's junior video can you explain what a loadout is and how they work in mlb the show 21 absolutely so your loadout is made up of a few different items you've got your archetype item which designates where you're going to excel on the field the archetype item will have the ability to have perks slotted into it. Perks are, you know, additional attribute bumps in order to fine tune and customize your ball player to make sure they excel. And then all of your equipment options, a lot of things that our fans are used to. And by the different combinations of getting these things in and set up in a loadout, you can set up multiple loadouts for basically making sure your ball player can do it all. Now, the beauty of this is in Road to the Show, as you're rolling forward with your two-way player, you can have a loadout for pitching. You can have your loadout for your position play. If you want to have a loadout set up for hitting or, or whatnot, you can do all of that. And then before you go into a game, you select the loadout that you want to use. You use that loadout for the duration of the game and you move on. And the same thing applies for Diamond Dynasty. The beauty of it in Diamond Dynasty is because you're so much more open with flexibility and position play is that you can set one up for first base, center field, catching, whatever it may be. And then when you go to play a game in Diamond Dynasty, again, you select that loadout for the entirety of that game and you're set and you can play in that position. You can play, you can play well. I really think the flexibility that the loadout system gives the player really does allow the player to take their ball player and then do it all. So this is a, a pretty big change to Road to Show. So I'm no longer trying to get 99 in every category. I'm, I'm trying to take and create loadouts for very specific tasks, right? Like if I'm pitching, if I want to be a power pitcher or a finesse pitcher, or if I'm in the field. So I might have a different loadout for a shortstop as I would for a center field, or even two different loadouts for shortstop, depending upon how I want to play the game that day. 
Is that correct? Yeah, absolutely. So how the changes to attributes and whatnot have, have worked in this year is rather than get everything to 99 through training and through playing the game, you'll be able to get all of your what we call base attributes up to 50. From 50 beyond that, that's where you really impact those stats with your loadouts and your archetype items. As you use an archetype item, there are attached programs. You progress in these programs to get better archetype items. And then obviously the better the archetype item, the more attributes or the more variety in attributes that you get. And that's how you really start to use these loadouts and this item progression to really hone your player in, to specialize and make your ball player do exactly what you want them to do. So Tony, you just said there are now programs in Road to the Show and ball player. So can you explain first what is a program and what this means for a ball player? Yeah, absolutely. So programs are super exciting. They consist of two separate parts. The first part is your reward track, which oddly enough is your rewards. And so as you progress your program, you'll get certain rewards at certain levels. And the other part of it is how you progress your program. And uh, right now for the archetype item programs, we are using missions. Uh, missions can be accomplished in either Road to the Show or Diamond Dynasty. And how we're going about it this year is it's a lot of things that you'll organically finish as you play the game. So whether it's plate appearances, or you're getting on base. There's a lot of different tasks like that that you can go ahead and do. You'll complete these missions, you get points for this program, and then you'll get through that reward path to unlock new items, more programs, and progress your ball player. Oh, so I'm not only just hunting stats, playing regular games and road to the show. I'm going to be trying to do different player programs to get more archetype items to make my guy stronger. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And so like these archetype item programs, right? You can progress those in either road to the show or diamond dynasty. And as you get the progression, you get a lot of different things. You get new archetype items. You'll get perk packs, general experience or stubs. There's a lot of different reward tracks. Anybody who has played and used programs before in the past, it would be very familiar. But for the road to the show user, now we have that in road to the show. Uh, in that line of progression and it really does just allow the, the player to you know experiment push forward and progress how they want all right so you can use your ball player obviously your ball player is now your road to the show player so you use them in road to the show and you can use them in programs he's now your diamond dynasty player as well is there anywhere else you can use them in the game yeah so right now you've got road to the show you've got diamond dynasty and then we have moments that are inside of diamond dynasty as well you'll be able to use your ball player now as i mentioned earlier we are laying the foundation we are looking forward this is definitely you know a four facing feature to see how can we expand how can we grow how can you use your ball player in more aspects and elements you know as nick mentioned when we started it's been a very ambitious year uh, and so we want to make sure that we move forward uh, very precise very calculated making sure that where we execute we execute well and then through feedback and our learnings we can go ahead and grow this feature in the future uh, in the best way possible all right that sounds great thanks for joining us tony i uh, thank you man i appreciate it we went over a lot today. Road to the Show now has a narrative element with real MLB Network and other baseball analysts, some yet to be revealed. Make sure you play the game to find out. Road to the Show now allows you to be a two-way player. You can hit and you can pitch. And your Road to the Show player is now your ball player with loadouts. You can create any loadout for any situation. Ben, anything else you want to add? Well, a couple things. I just want to say I love that we have so many episodes to cover so many possible possibilities for your road to the show player it means we're not putting your player on rails we are giving you the chance to build your story the way you want to and i just want to say you mentioned that we haven't revealed everyone in our cast it is an amazing cast 13 total voices and three or four of these guests would have blown my mind as a kid when i was you tell me i get to work with them and john can tell you i was just bouncing off the walls working with everybody on this list that is awesome. John, you've done this before. Anything else you want to share with our fans before we get ready to sign off? One thing I'll clarify uh, about the narrative feature, Ben mentioned when we, he was showing the videos that the video feature is for next-gen consoles only, but the narrative feature is going to be in our last-gen consoles as an audio-only feature. So instead of seeing the videos, you will hear them. You will hear the same segments uh, when you're in the locker room as if you were listening on your phone to a podcast. And then the one other thing I just want to emphasize, I think the most important thing to take away about the ball player is you can create your player and the versatility and the flexibility with how you want to play our game is what I think our community is really going to love. You can play it the way you always did. You can just play Road to the Show. You could just play Diamond Dynasty. But there's so many possibilities in between about a different combination of how I want to play, different positions I want to experience, different type of player I want to be. I really, really think the community is going to love the versatility of it. Awesome. Thank you so much, John. And Tony, the new member to the team, bringing the heat today. Anything else you want to add? 
I mean, it's just, all in all, it's a super exciting ball player feature. I'm looking forward to seeing how players interact with it. Looking forward to a lot of player feedback on it. I can't be more excited to see how players are going to set up a loadout, go into a game, use that loadout, come out of the game with their learnings and their findings, adjust the loadout, and then go try it again. And really that iteration and that flexibility is super powerful, and I can't wait to see what our players do. Thank you so much, guys, for joining us. But you know what time it is. It's Legend Reveal time. Colin, roll the video. Kirby Puckett, 10-time All-Star, Hall of Famer Kirby Puckett is your new legend reveal today. He joins Alfonso Soriano, Grady Sizemore, and our huge reveal on Monday, Roberto Clemente. More legends coming, maybe even sooner than you think. We went over a lot today. The new road to the show narrative. Two-way player. Take your ball player throughout MLB The Show 21. We want to thank Ben, John, and Tony, and Nick for stopping by, and we aren't stopping here. We got more feature premieres coming next week as franchise in March to October, and we still have to talk about Next Gen and Diamond Dynasty. Remember, you can watch feature premieres every Thursday at 3 p.m. Pacific time on Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook Live. Thanks for watching. See you soon.